Okay, hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about how they're trying to feminize men and make women more masculine. So before I do that, I have to break down this term for you all. So a nep feeling is um, mysterious beings or people in the Hebrew Bible who are large and strong. The word is loosely translated as giants in some translations of the Hebrew Bible, but left untranslated in others. Jewish explanations interpret them as hybrid sons of fallen angels. The reason why I wanted to say this first is that's what basically a lot of these entertainers are. Like I say all the time, they're not regular people. They're the fallen angels of the Bible. And a lot of people don't believe in the Bible, but you have to look at the Bible as like a history book, okay? It helps you with life, okay? It's a history book. It helps you figure out who you are, where you come from, and what what not to follow and what not to do in the world, basically, okay? So this is a picture of them right here, and this is how they used to look. They were huge giants, and as you all could see, the small people at the bottom were looking at, looking at them like, oh, my God, like they were very scary, and basically... Now they're fallen angels. They're not super, super giant like that, but they're fallen angels, fallen angels. Same thing as demons. You know, it's all the same thing. And a lot of them are inverts. And what I mean by inverts is they're men and female. So that's why a lot of these celebrities, such as this one right here, it looks like a man and a female at the same time. So one thing that I have to say is they always hide the truth in plain sight, right? So they like to fuck with us and deceive us and confuse us. That's why I always say on every video, you all like, trust your instincts. If something don't look right to you, it's not right. Don't let the world deceive you into thinking that stuff is right. And it's okay because your mind is very powerful. And when you waste it, I mean, you're going to be lost as hell. So like I said, they're inverts. They're man and female. Megan is a female name right the stallion a stallion is a male horse so they like to fuck with us and confuse us you know same with this person right here sierra looks like a man right looks like a man completely right but her name is sierra she also fucked with us too because she have a whole song called like a boy you know so like i said they always hide the truth in plain sight they let us know who they are they show us who they are but we get confused because they're like well they got a boyfriend well they got kids you know you could have a whole um, surrogate carry your kids nowadays. And you could go to the hospital and make it seem like you literally just had a baby. Like, that's where we're at in the world. So don't think, oh, they got kids, they got a boyfriend, they got a husband. A lot of that shit is fake as hell. So just don't believe it, okay? Whatever, whatever don't look right, if it sound like it, if it look like it, you know, it is what it is. And that's why I always say you all, like, be careful with your kids because they target kids, okay? And if they're confusing us, the kids are going to be super, super, super confused. And the future is, like, it's going to be extinct, like, period, okay? So in this next video, peep how they hide the truth in plain sight. Out of every song on the album, look at what Angela Yee says. Mm -hmm. Yep. What's your favorite song on the EP, guys? I'm going to say mine was Uh-Uh. For real? Yeah, yeah, I like that song. But there's one line on there that always make me laugh. Which one? The one where you say, your pussy fat, and they be thinking it's <laughs> a bitch. I'm like, I don't know. That's but... your favorite line? <laughs> no, I didn't say it's my favorite. <laughs> but it just make me it just, No, I didn't say it's my favorite line. It's my favorite song on the EP. But that line always makes me laugh every uh -huh. time I hear it. Because I had, like, it'd be certain pictures I didn't post it, and, like, it'll just go viral. I'd be, I be on Facebook a lot. So, uh, they'll be sharing it, talking about some, I got on some fake panties that got a fake coochie in her. <laughs> or somebody be like, she, um, is she, like, was she, is she a transgender, like? Okay, guys, so this is the world's first transgender children's doll with a penis underneath the woman's clothes. And this is disgusting. I feel like when it comes to kids, kids are so innocent. You shouldn't force stuff upon them. Anything that a kid is doing is because it's something that they're looking at. It's something that they're watching or something that they're taught, okay? If you have kids, I highly suggest that you have a parental control on their phones. Um, I highly suggest that you're communicating with them about what's going on, what's right, and what's wrong. And I also highly suggest that... um. 
you're watching them as much as you can. Um, we have to save our future. We have to save our kids. The kids are the future for us. We can't just have them out here lost like this because anything that's lost and unorganized is not going to work out. It's going to fail and it's going to be chaotic, okay? So um, this right here is a picture of a female's body and on the right is a picture of a male's body, right? So male's um, necks are way bigger than female necks, right? And um, we have smaller hands and feet than men do. We have a gap in between our legs. And men don't have no gaps, as you all can see. And they have larger chest area, um, larger shoulders. And you all could just see. So, like, super sad that I have to explain this to people. But that just shows you all how deceived a lot of people are to not even know this type of stuff. Like, this shit been going on forever. How, did, how they've been deceiving us, you know, it's just disgusting at this point. So, this character, this Glorilla character, sounds like a man, talks like a man, looks like a man, okay? Ain't no way around it. And a lot of times when they have, like, hair covering their shoulders and, like, they have on jackets and stuff on interviews and shows and stuff, it's because they're trying to hide how they look like a man basically so you all should notice that like it's not even just with this character it's with a lot of characters they try to hide it you know so people won't see like why is her shoulder so big because it's just certain stuff that you know is not woman like like even right here she had on the jacket to try and hide the shoulders you know it is what it is and also in this interview, Charlemagne, Charlemagne, he didn't look at her when she turned around and, and, you know, she was saying she was thick and show her a little butt because they know that these people are what they is. Like, they know that, you know, and, you know, we're the only ones that still confused and the kids are super, super, super confused. OK. All right, y'all. So this is why they're pushing what they're pushing. They're trying to confuse the kids. They want everyone to think the same. They want everyone to talk the same. They want everyone to believe in the same stuff as far as religions, Christianity, Catholic churches. They want one one world one world religion. They want to reduce the population down as much as possible. They know that if men is with men and women is with women, people will stop having kids and that will help reduce population. They know that they create, you know, these um these infections it's so many infections out here they know they keep on creating these infections and not only creating these infections um pushing like people to just be out here running around chaotic like i said anything that doesn't have order any system in this life in this world any job that you work at that doesn't have order what happens? People do whatever they want. It's chaotic. Nobody listens to nobody. This person doing this, that person doing that. And they know if they do that, a lot of people are going to D.I.E. You know what I'm saying? It's going to help reduce population. And a lot of people are just going to be out here worshiping Lucifer. Point blank, period. And that's part of the New World Order, if you all don't know. This is what, that's why they're pushing what they're pushing so hard. You know, and it is what it is. But we all... We, we're more powerful than the elites, the government. We're more powerful than them, guys. So that's why I make these videos. It's very, very important to me because, like, if we just wake up and stick together, we could overcome this stuff, right? So this right here was very stupid to me because that's why I always tell you all, don't listen to nothing these celebrities say. They're part of the same stuff that the elites, the government, they, they're... they're they, they're puppets, you know? And she says she felt comfortable cheating in her first marriage because she paid all the bills, right? Number one, this is a target on marriage. Marriage is very important. Marriage is not something to play with. You shouldn't cheat cheat in a marriage, but like I said, they push so much sin. Number one, that's very disrespectful, very disgusting. And number two, it's the, the whole making the male more feminine, making a woman more masculine. You all do not follow after this stuff. Don't think that it's cute. Don't like it. Just look at it as being disgusting. We're way more we're way more better than them. We're made we're way more conscious than them. Do not fall. Okay. They want you to fall like them because they're demons, okay? Don't follow after them. Don't look up to them. Don't like them. Don't be like, oh my God. 
They they want you to be like them so bad, and it's just disgusting, okay? So right here, this is Lil Uzi Vert. He's definitely a character that's out here confusing the mess out of little kids. A lot of kids like his music. They make music to... They make music to promote to kids, okay? They make music for kids, and then they, they're not people that kids should look up to. So, you know, it's messed up. It's messed up, but, you know, they get away with it only because of us. They live off our energy. Anything that they do, we give them energy to keep on being bigger and bigger than what they are. So, he has they slash them in his bio, and I want to touch on that because that's very, very important. So, this little Uzi figure wears tight, tight pants. He has a supposed to be girlfriend. He wears purses just like Gunna. You know, they make this music, try and make it seem like they're so hard. Da 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 ba 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 whatever. But you're walking around with a whole purse on, okay? They do this to confuse the little kids, okay? As you all can see, tight pants with a purse on. But you you're a boy. You rap like you're so hard, but you have a girlfriend. So they, they try and confuse little kids. That's what they do. And they're getting away with it because people are not teaching their kids. People are not sticking together. And that's the reason, basically, lack of knowledge, you know. So the they and okay, y'all, so the they and them term is very dumb to me, okay. First off, if you see a man, that's a he, that's a him. When you see a woman, that's a her, that's a she. You are not supposed to call someone a they or them unless it's a group of people, not Oh, that's a girl. I'ma call her they. Or that's a boy. I'ma call him them. No. Like I told you, they're trying to change everything. They want everybody to think the same, talk the same. <laughs> Baby, don't fall for it. Him, her, you know, no. No. If you see a man, that's a him. You see a woman, that's a her. And that's all I gotta say about it. But make sure you all subscribe to my channel, turn my notification bell on, and peace out, okay?